Eighth grade, unit five, lesson one, inputs and outputs. If you're not already a subscriber, now's a good time to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Given the rule, complete the table for the function rule for the following input values. First, let's look at the function rule. The function rule is divide by four, then add two. When the input is zero, that means that we're going to put zero into the function rule. Zero divided by four is zero, then add two. Zero plus two is two. Zero goes in and a two comes out. Now the input is two. Let's put a two inside. Two divided by four equals two fourths or one half, then add two. One half plus two is two and a half. A two goes in, and a two and a half comes out. Four divided by four is one. One plus two is three. Six divided by four is six over four, or one and a half. One and a half plus two is three and a half. Eight divided by four is two. Two plus two is four. 10 divided by 4 is 10 fourths or 2 and a half. 2 and a half plus 2 is 4 and a half. Problem number 2. Here is an input output rule. Write 1 if the input is odd. Write 0 if the input is even. Complete the table for the input output rule. When the input is negative 3, that's odd. So we're going to write 1 for the output. When the input is negative two, that's even. So we're gonna write zero for the output. When the input is negative one, that's odd. I'll write one for the output. When the input is zero, the output is zero. When the input is positive one, that's odd. I'll write one for the output. When the input is two, that's even. I'll write zero for the output. When the input's three, that's odd. I'll write one for the output. Problem number three from eighth grade unit four, lesson 15. Andre's school orders some new supplies for the chemistry lab. The online store shows a pack of 10 test tubes costs $4 less than a set of nested beakers. In order to fully equip the lab, the school orders 12 sets of beakers and eight packs of test tubes. A. Write an equation that shows the cost of a pack of test tubes, T, in terms of the cost of a set of beakers, B. A pack of test tubes is $4 less than a set of beakers. The equation would read T equals B minus 4. B. The school office receives a bill for the supplies in the amount of $348. Write an equation with T and B that describes this situation. The bill for $348 represents the cost of the test tubes and the cost of the beakers. Eight sets of test tubes and 12 sets of beakers cost $348. So the equation reads 8T plus 12B equals 348. C. Since t is in terms of b from the first equation, this expression can be substituted into the second equation, where t appears. Write an equation that shows this substitution. In green, we have the first equation that shows the value for t. t equals b minus 4. We can substitute the t from the second equation with b minus 4. So now it reads 8 times b minus 4 plus 12b equals 348. D. Solve the equation for B. Use the distributive property to multiply 8 times B, that's 8B, and 8 times a negative 4, that's a negative 32. Bring down the positive 12B, bring down the equal sign, and bring down 348. Collect like terms. 8b plus 12b is 20b. Bring down the negative 32, bring down the equal sign, and bring down 348. Now the equation reads 20b minus 32 equals 348. 
add 32 to both sides. Negative 32 plus 32 cancels each other out. And 348 plus 32 equals 380. Now the equation reads 20B equals 380. Divide both sides by 20. 20B divided by 20 equals 1B or B. And 380 divided by 20 equals 19. B equals 19. E. How much did the school pay for a set of beakers? And how much did they pay for a pack of test tubes? One set of beakers cost $19. Let's find out how much they paid for a pack of test tubes. Let's use this equation, 8T plus 12B equals 348. And let's solve for T. Since B equals 19, we can substitute the B with a 19. 12 times 19, that's 228. So they spent $228 on beakers. Subtract the price for beakers from both sides. 228 minus 228 cancels each other out. And 348 minus 228 is 120. Eight packs of test tubes cost $120. How much for one pack of test tubes? Divide both sides by 8. 8t divided by 8 is 1t, or t. And 120 divided by 8 is 15. One pack of test tubes costs $15. Problem number 4 from 8th grade, Unit 4, Lesson 14. Solve y equals x minus 4, and y equals 6x minus 10. We can use this first equation, y equals x minus 4. So let's plug that into this second equation, where it says y equals 6x minus 10, substitute the y with an x minus 4. So now it reads x minus 4 equals 6x minus 10. We can solve for x by subtracting x from both sides x minus x, or 1x minus 1x, and 6x minus x. 1x minus 1x cancels each other out, and 6x minus 1x is 5x. To get the term with the x in it by itself, we have to get rid of the negative 10, and we do that by adding 10 to both sides. Negative 10 plus 10, that's the same as 10 minus 10, they cancel each other out. Negative 4 plus 10. That's the same as 10 minus 4. That's 6. So now the equation reads 6 equals 5x. To find the value for 1x, we have to divide both sides by 5. 5x divided by 5 is 1x, or x, and 6 divided by 5 is 6 fifths. x equals 6 fifths. Now that we know the value for x, we can substitute the variable x with 6 fifths. So now the equation reads y equals 6 fifths minus 4. To find the value for y, I need to subtract 4 from 6 fifths. I'm going to do that by making their denominators the same. 1 times 5 equals 5. And since I made the denominator 5 times bigger, I need to make the numerator 5 times bigger. 4 times 5 equals 20. So the equation reads y equals 6 fifths minus 20 fifths. Since 6 minus 20 is negative 14, then y equals negative 14 fifths. Problem number 5. From 8th grade, Unit 4, Lesson 9. For what value of x do the expressions 2x plus 3 and 3x minus 6 have the same value? Let's find out. 2x plus 3 equals 3x minus 6. Let's solve for x. Subtract 2x from both sides. 2x minus 2x cancels each other out. And 3x minus 2x is 1x, or x. Now to get the x by itself, we have to get rid of the negative 6. And we'll do that by adding 6 to both sides. Negative 6 plus 6 cancels each other out. And 3 plus 6 is 9. x equals 9. Both expressions have the same value when x is 9. Substitute 9 for x and test it out for yourself. 2 times 9 plus 3 and 3 times 9 minus 6.
Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.